Good afternoon. I would like to present you uh, two conservation of uh, tapestries from my museum, uh, from Royal Castle uh, on the Wawel Hill in Krakow in Poland. The end of the year 2008 in the Museum Castle of Wawel coincided with the completion of two long-term projects, concluding the conservation of the two historically important Brussels tapestries from the museum collection, shown on these uh, slides. Uh, there are building of the Tower of Babel and Triumph of the Bacchus and Ariadne. Both tapestries were displayed in permanent exhibitions, one uh, at the Museum at Wawel and the other on its branch, the Renaissance Castle in Pieskowa uh, near Krakow. The tapestry of King Sigismundus Augustus, the jewel of the Wawel collections, are the token of the magnificence of the old Polish Commonwealth, along with the castle and Sigismund Chapel, have for centuries been suburb testimony to the Renaissance art in Poland. The royal tapestry, also called in Polish arases, form part of the remnants of the original furnishing of the monarch's residence, which was devastated by the, the Austri Austrian after the third partitions of Poland in 1795. It was no uh, accident that 138 monumental tapestry with the scenes of Old Testament were ordered in Brussels, Brussels that time the leading standard of tapestry production. The beginning of Polish uh, Renaissance in Poland were linked with the patronage Sigismundus I, who ordered the building on the Wawel Hill of a place in the style of Florentine Renaissance and the erection of the, ca of the, cathedra of the cathedral, which uh, has been called the finest pearl of the Italian Renaissance in Northern Europe. The king's marriage to the Milanese princess Bona Sforza consolidated the aesthetical, literary, and philosophical trends that uh, had uh, reached Poland from Italy. The tapestries were ordered by their son, the young king Sigismundus II, to decorate the interior of the castle, and they were first displayed at the royal wedding to his third wife, Catherine Habsburg, the daughter of the Imperial Ferdinand I. It was in 1553. To give an idea of, this, of the size, importance, and richness of this collection, in addition to the two tapestries uh, to be discussed here, the Wawel collection also contains several uh, other oversized tapestries, such as Series of the First Parents, Kain and Wawel, and Building of the Ark. In addition, the collection also includes smaller tapestries. You can see some examples in these slides. Verdure with, verdures with animals, tapestries, tapestries with grotesque and monograms, such as, for example, the royal initials, initials S.A. Sigismundus Augustus, on this slide, and tapestry with coat of arms of the Polish crown and Grand Duchess of Lithuania. Moreover, there are also tapestry, tapestries with cartouches held by satyrs, tapestries to be hung above doors and windows, and finally, small upholstery pieces for chairs and armchairs. The conservation of building of the Tower of Babel began the wet clinic treatment performed in the Witt, in the, the Witt Tapestry Workshop in Mechel in Belgium. Then, after examination of, of the tapestry, the committee of curators and conservators at the museum made a decision to undertake extensive conservation treatment, specifically countermanding uh, any effort to restore this historical important tapestry. Accordingly, the textile conservators from the laboratory of the Wawel, of the Wawel Museum, proposed the following program of conservation. 
Providing the tapestry with the full-size linen backing to be systematically stitched at regular intervals to the reverse of the tapestry. The second, couching fragile areas of the tapestry to this backing fabric with laid couching stitch from four to five millimeters apart. And stitching linen touches of suitable color and texture underneath the larger or smaller losses. At the beginning of the conservation treatment, to organize the work on this long-term project, the tapestry was apportioned into eight sections and the four conserv conservators were divided. On this picture, we can see one, uh, Polish, uh, one nun, nun from Polish convent who actually work in uh, Vatican museums. Uh, into eight sections and the four conservators were divided into teams of two. The teams of conservators work in pairs, sitting across the tension table from one another. They work together to consolidate the fragile and abraded areas of weft adding late, late counting stitches across the entire height of the tapestry in, in intervals of four millimeters. The aim of the conservation treatment was to prevent further deterioration using traditional methods that generally characterize practice in, in our, my laboratory. The one ex exception to this traditional approach come, come out of ongoing discussion between art historians and conservators. This uh, was the decision to re remove a long narrow tapestry fragment that had been inserted at the same previous time to replace the original inner border of the tapestry. This insertion was part of another tapestry, also from the Royal Collection, uh, of a different palette and coloration from building of the Tower of Babel. There is no record extent of when this tapestry fragment was inserted or where it came from. Here, <laughs> It is worth noting that the history of the Royal Babel tapestries has uh, entailed drastic adaptations of series of tapestry to accommodate the different various interiors of, char, of the char palaces in St. Petersburg, Petersburg, Russia, in the middle of the 19th century. Whole section of the tapestry had, as a common practice, been irreversible, cut out, and removed. To help visualize the uh, proposed treatment, three small samples uh, were made, employing different techniques, but all with a similar texture. You can see on this photo. The samplers, and later the faux tapestry insert itself, were made by stitching wool yarns to a linen, linen ground fabric. These were aligned parallel to each other to imitate the arrangement of the warp. During this process, the yards were put under tension of the frame while the real insert was being made. Weft of dyed wool and metallic threads were laid down perpendicular to the new warp. Then, they were attached with running stitch to simulate weft face plane weave or tapestry technique. The sampler selected had the same warp and weft count as the tapestry undergoing conservation. The execution of the entire insert was very time consuming because of the finesse of the original tapestry and size of the insert and the chosen technique. When it was complete, completed, the insert was removed from the wooden, wooden frame. The excess linen was cut and the insert fitted precisely into the area of the loss in the tapestry. The next step was consolidation of the insert with the original tapestry. This was done by pulling down the ends of warp threads of the insert to the back of the tapestry where original warp was concealed. In order, in order to align the insert properly with a right tension, the warp threads were then pulled out temporarily uh, to the front of the tapestry. 
In addition, to achieve the original look, the joints along the cut were camouflaged with appropriately, appropriately colored, colored threads. As a result, the pattern of the new insert blended visually with the original tapestry. It was also necessary to reinforce the joints from the reverse of the tapestry by couching them to the backing. The procedure was completed by adding a lining and stitching the velcro across the top as a hanging system. Here, I would like to point out that this compensation for loss is a very newly conserved tapestry. It's reversible and does not preclude removal at reinsertion of the original fragment if it, it, if it is ever found, ever found. Having learned from the, our experience of conserving other bubble tapestries, we still hold out the hope of finding this fragment removed at an unknown time from building of the Tower of Babel in another tapestry in the Royal Collection. This treatment was a very challenging task, challenging task for our laboratory. The satisfactory visual and structural results achieved and the positive response was a great encouragement for us as we move to the next project. The second treatment includes in construction of another, even more seriously damaged fragment of a bubble tapestry, the triumph of uh, Bacchus and Ariadne. The tapestry is smaller than uh, tower, uh, then uh, tapestry tower of the uh, Babel is from the collection of the Polish aristocratic family Sapieha. It's from the collection of the, uh, for years the tapestry had been on the alone in the Wawle Museum. In 1998, it was purchased uh, from the owner. The tapestry depicts a relatively popular scene a subject portrayed in many other tapestry, tapestries in both Polish and uh, European collections, such as those in Poznań, in Poland, Bayerisches National Museum in Munich, Kunsthistorisches Museum in Vienna, and in uh, New York, in Sotheby's. Before the conservation treatment, the tapestry was in very poor condition with a braided weft, particularly in the areas of green silk and brown wool. <coughs> Sorry. There, there were many inserts known from a known tapestry compensation, compensa compensating from areas of loss. And for some unknown reason, the tapestry was cut lengthwise, splitting the tapestry in half. Sometimes later, Someone, sometime later, the two halves were seamed together. As a result of, uh, of that, the shapes of some figures from the mythological wedding procession were distorted. And of the original tapestry, only the main field remained untouched. Even the border was completely removed. The chief cons conservator decided the treatment of the tapestry should be divided into two stages. The first included structural preservation of the most uh, braided areas by means of late couching stitches. In the second phase, the purpose was aesthetic and led to recreation of the original look of the tapestry by restoring the most damaged areas in the space with technique wave when the stitches are made with a higher density, very close together. Due to the deterioration of both warp and weft, the conservators decided to reinforce the entire tapestry by stitching strip of linen to the, to the reverse. Then, after carefully alignment, both halves of the tapestry are consolidated using late couching stitch to attach to attach them to the linen strap. Moving out from the center of the tapestry towards the edges of the tapestry, 
The straps are, are place, placed simul, simultaneously in both directions. At the same time, abraded areas are secured. New warps are inserted where required in the areas of loss and the spaced plane width are executed. The largest, most important areas of loss were the upper right corner, a path of the foot of a dancing nymph wearing a sandal, and the sides of the tapestry. And finally, a new galone or border was stitched to the sides of the tapestry. The linen lining was sewn to the reverse of the tapestry using stitches sewn diagonally, diagonally or at intervals across the back of, the, of the, uh, the tapestry. This entire treatment was performed on the tapestry frame, designed especially for treatment of the large vowel tapestries. Its design was based, in part, on information from uh, consultation with German colleagues from Bayerisches Nationalmuseum in Munich, who had experience with conserving large tapestries. They too have used a combination of late couching stitch and spaced tabby weave in previous treatments. They also used silk and wool yarn specially dyed for the purpose. The extensive conservation of these two tapestry, tapestries was the main work performed in our laboratory during the last few years. It involved a majority uh, of our conservators with only periodic short breaks required for the older projects related to upcoming exhibitions. The conservation of building of the Tower of Babel was the first on the advanced conservation program planned for preserving the collection of Royal Vavel tapestry over the next two or even three decades. We have just begun conservation treatment of a new series of four tapestry known as the history of the Tower of Babel. Currently, we are working on dispersion of mankind. This is on the right. One of these four tapestries contains inserts of tapestry fragments from the series of mythological scenes entitled, entitled Four Season Making on an Offering to Apollo, the God of Sun. We look forward to beginning this project next year. Among, among the very challenging future projects is a group of never exhibited so-called Kaldomun tapestries. Uh, these were part of the series of verdure and animal tapestries that uh, were found in the box in the port of Marseille in France. This had suffered from excessive uh, moisture and were also further damaged during the Second War evacuation in 1940. Our conservation laboratory, founded in 1926, has been always open for a different conservation solutions and ready to learn from our colleagues, conservators from, from the entire world. This symposium is a great opportunity to exchange our thoughts and professional opinion, and I thank my colleagues from the Metropolitan Museum of Art for inviting me here. Thank you for the invitation, thank you for your um, attention. <laughs>